100% clean energy by 2035. That's our goal. Getting there will require astonishing growth in solar, wind, and other renewables, plus systems to store energy and feed the grid. This clean energy boom will mean manufacturing new technology in enormous quantities. Supply chains, material, production, and distribution networks are only as strong as their weakest links. NREL and its partners are finding ways to strengthen the supply chain for tomorrow's clean energy surge. Like most products, today's clean energy materials and components often travel thousands of miles. Not only is this supply chain powered by fossil fuel, mining critical materials and manufacturing parts can pose hazards to the environment and workers. All of this can make the clean energy industry, well, not so clean and vulnerable to shortages, strikes, and natural disasters. How can we plug into a truly clean supply chain for this energy? NREL researchers are exploring what's called a circular economy for clean energy to extend the lifespan of materials, parts, and products, reduce waste, conserve resources, and boost efficiency. One-of-a-kind NREL facilities are developing innovative new manufacturing methods such as on-site 3D printing. Analysts are combining specialized tools with real-world data, evaluating manufacturing options in terms of supply, workforce, cost, the environment, and more. This will help produce clean energy components in ways that are good for the planet, the economy, and consumers, and distribute cargo efficiently using renewable fuels and electricity to minimize its environmental footprint while providing even more reliable, affordable, clean energy from the wind, sun, and other renewable resources. This will in turn give Americans clean energy to manufacture electric cars and other sustainable technologies to power transportation, industry, and buildings helping the country reach its ambitious clean energy goals and slow the progress of climate change with a supply chain that is truly clean, reliable, and affordable.